Dan Bourne is Oklahoma's only Democratic congressman in Washington, D.C., yet corporate interests can count on him in opposing the Employee Free Choice Act, legislation making it easier for workers to organize. Well, I've, I've been concerned uh, from day one when this legislation was introduced. I was one of two Democrats in the 110th Congress to vote against the legislation. I will be voting against it again in the 111th. His support of corporate interests over worker interests could endanger lives. On the morning of March 6, 2007, Eleazar Torres Gomez, a married father of four, wakes up and prepares himself for work at the Tulsa, Oklahoma Cintas Industrial Laundry. Later in the day, Eleazar is alone on the floor when a large conveyor, called a shuttle, gets jammed. While my father was attempting to unjam clothes stuck on a shuttle, he was dragged into an operating industrial dryer where he was trapped for 20 minutes as it continued to spin. Alone on the factory floor, no one hears his cries for help as Eleazar is violently tossed around inside the dryer, suffocating under the hundreds of pounds of laundry. Temperatures inside the dryer reportedly reach 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Eleazar dies inside. Centos should have known that workers routinely clear jams in the manner that led to Torres Gomez's tragic death. In fact, in the previous two weeks alone, there had been more than 30 such incidences that were captured on Centos's own internal surveillance equipment. Eleazar Torres did not have to die. Workers at Centos's largest competitor successfully organized a union through majority sign-up provisions, similar to those contained in the Employee Free Choice Act, and now negotiate health and safety protections. The union gives us better benefits, better wages, and, and respect, which we need. So we didn't have respect before that. So after the union came in, we have safety. We have a safety program, and we talked about any accidents that happened during the week. We meet every Thursday, like for 30 to an hour. We discuss issues, safety issues. Centos workers don't have the same voice. The company has actively opposed workers' efforts to form a union and negotiate for safety protections. Elected officials like Oklahoma Congressman Dan Boren support Centos's cause. I will be voting against it again in the 111th. Centos is actively engaged in a full-fledged campaign to stop the Employee Free Choice Act, yet has not done what is needed to make its workplaces safe for all its employees. Could we speak with a native representative or someone in the way? I just want to ask you some questions. Tell Dan Bourne to stop risking workers' lives and to support employee free choice.